Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art and welcome to Pembury. So for today's piece I'm going to be drawing a picture of a charioteer being pulled along by uh, three horses and I'll be doing it in ballpoint pen. I'm going in with my mechanical pencil first just to get the basic outlines. I've used about four or five different reference photos to come up with this one picture. So um, yeah, I've just uh, sort of changed leg positions and used a different soldier and got a chariot picture and <laughs> yeah, had a bit of fun sort of designing this, this picture. Um, so yeah, I'm just drawing the outline in now as we, as we go and trying to get all the positions of the horses right. So I'm just working on the first one now, but I'll add in the second and third horses in a minute. So now I'm drawing in the second horse um, and it's going to be a mess of legs underneath here because there's three horses worth of legs. <laughs> so I just draw them in as best I can, just roughly get it sort of guessing where their bodies would be and where their legs would be positioned and just pop a few extra legs under there as you can see, <laughs> leg positions and things. And then I start to go in with my ballpoint pen and start adding uh, lines around my work and then I'll start to fill it in. So now I'm adding the lines on the charioteer, the Roman soldier, I'm just getting his outline in and I sort of adjust here and there as I go. And now I start to add colour, or not colour, we'll add tone. Um, to the helmet and I fill in just roughly just getting that underdrawing in and just filling in the base layer. So I'm just filling in the chariot and I'm following the directions of the, the it's like it's like covered in hide, like I've just put the big stitching in along the sides, you can see those little triangles that's meant to be stitching holding the hide onto the sides of the chariot. So they must have done that to keep them lightweight which was a bit fascinating, I learnt something by drawing it because I got to really observe what it was like and what it was made of. So then I start to build up the shadows in the chariot and I move on to the horse and I start with the mane, I just get the, fly, the flowing mane in on the first horse and I decide the first horse is going to have the most detail, um, this, the other two horses I'm going to uh, just, just shade them lightly, I won't do a, a whole lot of detail on them because I want the first horse that you see to draw the attention. So I start to shade the whole horse in just to get a base layer in and I uh, follow the direction that his fur would lie. And I'd like to say thank you to all the people who are participating till the end of this month in Penbuary. Um, I'll pop everyone who's created a video's link below and tagged and tagged uh, Laurie at the Laurie Files and I. And I'll also pop the names of people um, who've posted on Instagram. And yeah, you can pop, just search their names and pop over and have a look at what they've done in under hashtag Pembury. That would be awesome. Um, I'd love for you to check out everyone's work because everyone's made an awesome effort and done great artwork.
So I'm still being careful to follow the directions of the fur. And you can see it sort of gives the horse some shape. It really does create um, the effect of shape on it. And I'm still learning with pen. I'm still learning how to shade and um, how to blend and things like that. So I've, it still does look a little bit liney, but I'll get there with practice. Practice makes perfect, as they say. So I just got to practice, practice, practice. So I start to build up shadows now, just a little bit, just to get an idea of where I'm wanting him to be darker and lighter. And as the drawing goes on, I will add more deep colours or more, more stronger ink rather. I'll put so add. I'll get a, I've got um, a pen that's got thicker ink that I'm just starting to use now, just to darken up um, the darkest darks. Now I start working on the back two horses, but I'm only going to lightly shade them. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail. I'm just going to give them almost just one layer and a tiny bit of shadowing and that'll be it. Because um, I want them to disappear into the background. I want the first horse to be the focus. Now I've gone back to finish off the chariot, so I just pop a bit more detail in the wheels and uh, fill in anywhere that I haven't shaded. So I'm building up the shadows now and getting the darkest darks happening. And I follow around the edges of the horse on the underneath of him and start to build up the top layers of dark areas and get some more depth and dimension to the horse, sort of following the shape of his musculature and things like that. Now I start to pop some ground in and I'm literally just doing little pen strokes and I'm leaving bits of white showing because that way it looks like it's the ground's been a bit churned up from horses galloping along it. So I'm just putting in rough lines and darker areas under the horses and under the chariot just to create shadow. Now I'm going in with the darkest pen I have and oh, it's a uni ball and I literally darken up the very darkest areas as dark as I can possibly go for the most impact. So anywhere that's absolutely dark I am now going over with this pen. And then I get my red uni ball and I go over the, the decoration on his helmet and I've got a brown ball point, believe it or not. <laughs> and I am just adding in, I'm not going to colour the whole harness, I'm just adding a bit of modelled, a modelled effect on the harness just to give it some texture, but I'm leaving it basically the white of the paper, just adding it around the edges a little bit. And I just 
darken up the edges here and there. And now I'm just doing the finishing touches. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I had an absolute ball working on my drawing skills. Um, yeah, I'd love it if you click like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.